See, now, if you were to ask me to guess a new type of weapon, I don't think that a spell book was going to be in my top 10 guesses, yet here we are. The Whispers in the Wall update brought us a new tome secondary called The Grimoire, in which, well, has received some mixed reviews within the community. And why is that exactly? I think it's more because we all imagine something a little different, something a little stronger in terms of damage. However, what it does offer for us is a very interesting way to synergize this weapon with our Warframe builds. So let's have a little breakdown on everything that you need to know. Timestamps added beneath the video. Starting things off, when and where do you unlock this weapon? So you're first going to meet the magic book within the Whispers in the Wall questline, where you will have the chance to mess about with it a little bit until you complete the quest, fully unlocking it in all areas of the game for you to enjoy. If you are new to the game, it may take a little while before you go and get to this questline, so in the meantime, just keep grinding things out until you go and reach it. What are the base stats and basic information of the weapon? The Grimoire is a secondary weapon, which gives you two different ways to use it in combat. Firstly, you have a primary auto fire, which has a pretty low fire rate and comes innately with electric damage. A critical chance and critical Critical damage are sitting at all right values respectively with 20% and a two times multiplier and the status chance comes in ranging just ever so slightly higher than the critical chance at a whopping 26%. Then it's rounded off with that 100 base damage and electricity as your damage element. Now I would personally say that the stats in the critical and status are genuinely good. If I saw this on some other weapons you could end up with some great steel path options available for you. However due to the low 100 basic electric damage and the low fire rate it just doesn't quite pass pack that much of a punch. So if that's what you're looking for, then that's not really going to be the weapon for you. From there, the tome has an alternative fire mode, which sends out a large electric orb shooting out from the book towards the direction that you aim in. This orb has exactly the same stats as the primary auto fire, except from it benefits more from the AOE side of things with a little higher electricity added within it. The alt fire will build up charges over time itself after you send the shot out, or you can also go ahead and deal damage to enemies and it will also go and build up that meter for you too. So does this weapon have any new mods? Well, yes, it does actually. The Grimoire has a total of eight specific tome mods that are only usable within this weapon. Up on the screen, I'll slowly cycle through the mods for you to browse at and pause if you need to. Now the mods are split into two different types. One are called the Canticles, I might be pronouncing that wrong, which are all Eximus related mods and are centered mostly around utility within your book builds. And the other type are called the Invocations, which give us some very interesting stat increases. For example, 60% increase to either strength, duration, or efficiency at max values and max returns. Just like how some mods in the game share the same name, you can only apply one of each type of these mods in your book at a time. So due to all of this, this is the main reason why we're not looking at this build as a damage type weapon. This book is more of a buffing weapon with a flex into damage or primer on the sides, depending on what you want to fit in after your main tone mods. And as for where you can get these mods, I believe it's from the new missions within the Daemon star chart. I believe they are tied to their AABC rotation within some endless missions, but I cannot 100% confirm this just yet. So please, if you have gotten one of these as a drop, could you leave a comment on where you got them to help people know? I was thankfully gifted these from DE as a first day content creator package. So that's what I'm trying to go do here. Help review the weapon for you guys and get the video out early. Alrighty then, Clark, what about some bills? Okay, so I want you guys to go and put a level of trust in what I say when I tell you I tested this weapon. I spent three hours inside the Siblicrum trying all different kinds of synergies and seeing what works and what doesn't work, which led me to these build routes that I took. Now, number one, the weapon has low base damage and low fire rate. This means it's not going to hit super hard. It's more of a utility weapon. As I mentioned earlier, the invocation mods are more core to what you want out of this book. And then the canticle mods just go and add some extra spice on the side. Number two, now this may be patched or it needs a hotfix, but I tested two things with the alternate fire mode, and I can safely say with confidence that at the time I did my testing, day one, the AoE orb is not affected by multi-shot, and it is not affected by fire rate mods either within the orb pulsing out electric. Because I did actually try looking at this weapon as a primer, something I could shoot out and then use other weapons or abilities to scale off it with condition overloads, well, it can still somewhat be a primer, but it's not up there with the likes of Epitaph, Hysterix, or Kuba the new car as examples. So if you are wanting to go and take a primer route, I would suggest it being second after your stat buff in focus. And number three, even with Warframe such as Yareli with her passive, Gauss with his red line, or even Mirage with her Eclipse and Hall of Mirrors, this weapon isn't overly worth the position of dealing damage. I just wanted to stress that point further. It can still kill level 195 steel path enemies, but in comparison to what's available in the secondary slot, you're better off
worth taking something else for damage scaling and damage focus if that is what you want. Okay, now that I've just cleared the air here, here are my builds. Build number one. Well, this is a general type build. This is a lot of raw damage and it's flexible to the user. Ideally, guys, I'm just looking to go and have a little fun with the weapon and have somewhat decent damage output. I mean, the weapon itself looks cool and during this time especially, I'll be using it and trying more things out within the next few days. It's a simple yet effective DPS build and it's a bit of flexibility for you to go ahead and work with here. Build number two. Believe it or not, this weapon fits perfectly as its own stat buffer slash primer flexor for a Warframe like Korra. Now, I just recently did a Korra Steel Path video where she mainly uses her Whip Claw ability with an Incarnate weapon, and she doesn't really have any need for a secondary weapon slot. Now you can use this, in which I modded for duration to give my Korra an extra 12 seconds to her Strangle Dome ability. I only need about four or five enemies grouped up within my Strangle Dome to get the most return from this Wrist Invocation mod. So what I'll do is I'll aim the ult fire at the center of my dome, shoot it with the Prime Fulmination mod in mind and with my current range on Korra and the Strangle Dome being 175% I can pretty much catch all of the enemies inside the dome's width. This gives me that extra quality of life for the build to benefit from or if you prefer strength returns going hit harder then swap out risk for the Vome Invocation and it's a done deal. I paired in Viral here as my Korra is slash focused and Viral only but helps and then I added the secondary Cucumber Arcane for a chance going proc extra elements that also deal dots to stack with my bleeds that Korra already does so kind a double triple dip in if you will now the rest is pretty much flexible but it definitely synergizes with her build and it gives me something else going to do whilst being semi afk whipping away at enemies build number three build number four and build number five are all pretty much the same build where i'm focusing mostly on the invocation mods in either duration strength or energy returns to pair with warframe builds that can either use the extra hands or meme further with and for me that's all fun and games the rest of the mods that i've slotted in are basically a way for my weapon to go ahead and fight back see ideally i would go and swap it around a little bit but i'm in an awkward position due to polarities but overall these are stat buff builds with a little weapon damage on the side if i'm running into a mission where i need to go and pick up like an energy or a power cell and then my secondary weapon needs to go ahead and trade off against an enemy or two in my way this is pretty much what these builds are also here for as a hybrid flex so i can go and use it there and then finally we got that build number six now i'm not going to lie to you guys this was for me just tested the weapon to see how it felt in scaling damage and yeah to be short with it it didn't exactly feel great i mean if i had a cedo primer with this weapon yeah sure it would do a lot of damage with so many elements on the enemy but otherwise the point still stands that the weapon isn't really focusing on that damage route, but more of a utility book to hybrid stat bust from with something else flexing on the site. Some thoughts and my feedback. All right, so I get the general consensus as of right now. It's a hot topic that we expected different from this weapon. Whether or not DE will look at values and change them is a whole nother question. But regardless, I will definitely welcome new styles and niches to the game. More importantly, I don't want them to be discouraged from trying things like this. In some cases, it won't be meta, but we don't always need the next best thing, in my opinion. God forbid we just had the incarnates. However, I also don't really want weapons to fall into the shadows like the ghoul saw. I mean, it's goofy and silly, but that novelty can wear off and the fun is subjective to every user. I genuinely welcome the idea of spell books or even of a spell like Magic to Warframe. In a sci-fi related game, it can definitely mix, blend and find a home in what we do day to day. So I honestly welcome weapons like this, especially if we can go further with different magic books and more unique modification down the line. But I gotta ask you guys, with what you have seen, and if you have managed to get your hands on the weapon and play about with it, how are you guys finding the weapon so far? If you could change just one thing for this weapon, what would you change to make it better? Alrighty then, that's a wrap. Trying to keep today's video straight to the point and short. If this video did go and help you, then a friend of mine is going to like the video or even go and share it with a friend. If you're new to the channel, come subscribe for future videos. But as always, I'll be seeing you guys again in the next video.